hola <laughs> so how are you this morning it's friday and we have a lot going on this weekend so i figured i'll come and uh do a video and talk about my day-to-day -day, um and some things that i'm gonna try to get accomplished some of my thoughts um i'm so excited our friends are getting married tonight and today is the 27 which carries the energy of nine two plus seven that's nine it's all about endings so, and it's a wedding it's a friday this is awesome and um the wedding starts at five i think five five is an awesome number as well it's all about freedom not just about freedom, but that's one of the attributes of five is freedom. Okay, so one of the things that I'm going to do today, I'm going to wash my mane. And um, I find that um, I'm going to look at that. Okay, you find all kind of things in the dreadlocks. Okay, <laughs> my, my, my son had this in his hair when I washed his hair this morning. At least he had three of them. So I have one, I think. Okay, so obviously I need to wash my hair. And um, I don't usually do a detox, but I am. My scalp, my dreads, they uh, have a lot of, um, I don't know if you can see them, but it has a lot of lint. And when they get start getting this matted and this tight, it's hard to keep things from getting trapped in there. You see? And so I figured it would be a great time to try to get some of that lint out, get some old built up oil and dirt. That's another thing by using oil. It's like it traps the lint in there even more and it just grows and it becomes a part of you. So, which is awesome, but built up oil is, can look gross and could just feel, it could just feel pretty and dirty. So I'm gonna get some of that built up dirt out of there and lint and uh i was like what am i gonna use and then my mind was like get some pink salt so i got some pink salt some pink himalayan salt I love pink himalayan so i use it for everything i figured that would be perfect for detoxing my scalp so it can open it up and uh open up these hair follicles <laughs> and some lemon lemon is also good for that hello birdie the bird has joined us and my flowers i don't know if you heard them then i'm gonna use some of this uh apple cider hibiscus booster and then i'm gonna put some little lime juice in there and i'm gonna use some witch hazel and I'm gonna also add just regular apple cider vinegar too in there. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna combine all of these things and I'm gonna make a scrub. And I'm gonna scrub my scalp while I'm in the shower and just like pour it on there and scrub it like that. Then rinse it out. And then, of course, before I rinse, I'm gonna scrub these dreads, see how much of this stuff we can get out and then I made a spray which I'm gonna use to tooth my hair I'll be back and I'll tell you what's in the spray and I guess I'll do some of my twists um, I'm, I'm excited um, I usually don't twist my hair often but I know we're going to a wedding and my husband he loves when my hair is sweet, freshly twisted um, I just would love to see a smile on his face and just be like oh you look good and I'm gonna do my toes and released my inner goddess and let her out since it is a wedding so it's all about love why not look lovely <laughs> and i might get my eyebrows waxed so i'm probably just gonna like pluck them myself and so join me on this transformation friday's transformation hey little love bug on the computer screen want come here oh bye bye so I'm excited. Oh, and I woke up and my weight was 137, and which equals 11. 
11 days I love 11 days they're always so spiritually enlightening and it's like all about beginning so the not today is, has the nine energy about endings and um, my week has 11 which is all about beginning on a master level is uh, being a master and teaching and it's a beautiful number it's very spiritual so it lets me know that today I'm gonna learn some thing very crucial about myself or people around me and uh, we're gonna have some spiritual enlightenment going on on a master level so okay so let me go ahead and get prepared I'll see you in a few then as I was walking back I felt called to do to steep some tea for my hair and um with some herbs it just was called to do that so I picked up some um, some mint some spearmint this is rosemary oregano okay then I got some of this um I think this is catsnip <laughs> this is I never use catsnip I just planted it in the garden I, I don't, I'm very interested in it I know it helps with um insect repellent and stuff I read that but we'll see what else and then this is sage I mean you, can you really do purification without sage you can you definitely can but sage definitely ups the ante <laughs> sage in that thing and then bee, bee balm I love this I know it's good for beauty I read that um I use it a lot I put it in smoothies and it definitely helps with the growth of nails and and um and skin even though my skin look a hot mess right now mostly and I don't know why I've been eating fairly well so this is has to be hormonal I know the new moon is coming Hello. Well, hello. The new moon is coming. I'm not new moon. I'm sorry. The full moon is coming this Sunday, um, and also uh, I'll be ovulating. It says so. It's either on the full moon, either the day before the full moon, on the full moon, or the day after the full moon. I will be in ovulation. Fun, and that's why I've been so been feeling the sexual energy. See, so when I said that, my uni was like, yes. So I've been definitely craving some bonding and sex so this right here is lavender hopefully i get me some tonight since we are going to a wedding it usually sparks some love yeah i'm definitely gonna have sex tonight that's just some more beat um, be bomb so i felt the need so i'm gonna go hey love bug i'm gonna go and um speak this and then um let's see i guess i'll wait till it warms so I think I'm going to get in the shower, wash my hair with the the de like with the detox stuff with the uh, the pink Himalayan salt scrub mix, right? Then I'm gonna steep this, put this in the bottle, and then pour that on my hair, right? See, part of me thinks, should I rinse this off or should I leave it? Mm -hmm. Cause then I can leave it and let it dry. Let's try that. So then that's what I'll do. So when I'm finished, I'll like this. I'll steep it and I'll put it on my hair. I'm gonna remove the leaves and just use the the, the water or whatever. And then, ooh, this sounds interesting. Let's see. I've never done this before, so I'm really it's, it's just my mind. It's just like do this. <laughs> so we shall do this, and hopefully, maybe I need to do. We don't have any more avocado or our cucumber, but I need to make like we do have honey. Not the best quality honey I would say though but I could use that and put on my skin maybe some of that this some of this blue this little tea mix I'm gonna make for my hair maybe use that and put on my face with some coconut oil I don't know we're gonna figure that out see what we can do because that little you know, hormonal is very distracting it's beautiful though I'm beautiful you're beautiful it's beautiful outside. I'm directly under the sun. I can't wait to get to this 
wedding and socialize with our friends, get a little break from the kids because they're going by Momo house for the weekend. Um, I can't wait till sa uh, Saturday. We're going to go to Baton Rouge and go support support um, a fellow goddess. And then Sunday is the full moon goddess circle. I'm so excited. We already have seven girls. There's seven of us that's going to join together. We're going to come under the moon in my backyard. Um, candles and just bond. Hey, good morning, Doug. I think that's my cue. It's 10.45. Hmm, let's see. That's 9 plus 1 is 10. It's time for me to go begin this journey because that's 1. So, I'll be back. Alright, so this is me again and I still have not washed my hair because then what else came to me was I sit, I was about to drink this tea and I was like, Huh, why not use this with the fresh herbs for because it and then really got mostly warm, so it's still good to drink. But I had already had a cup and I just or it's just I had some leftover water, so I just poured this in that thing. So, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this too. I'm gonna use this too, okay? One to sit and this is dry herbs. I have some uh, calugula, some uh, rose. Some rose leaf, and I have a I have a complete list of herbs that I use with this tea. I use I drink this tea every morning. It's the same tea, and um, I use it for to warm my room up and everything else, of course. But definitely to jumpstart that up, get that sexual energy going on and popping. I feel you should feel more awake throughout the day. Anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna put this on. Put that on my main. Let's see. I mean, it's good in. Let's see how it does on the outside. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. And I made my... I showered. And um, I washed my hair with the, with the, with the um, detox and purification. And then I made some herbal... Some herbal tea tonic, we'll call it. Herbal tonic. That I'm going to put and leave on my hair as a leave-in conditioner type of thing has a whole bunch of herbs in it I mentioned the herbs in the previous video and um, I'm gonna list them out in the comment section I put a little already in my hair but I'm gonna put enough I need enough for two bottles so I got a lot I might use some of my kids hair right, and then I'm gonna put this and then I think I'm gonna let it I think I'm gonna let it sit for about um, when I drench my whole hair I'm going to be out here in nature. And I'm going to sit under the sun for like, um, I guess we'll say about 10, 15 minutes. And just let it just sit in there. I feel refreshed. My skin feels really good. Um, I can't, re I could tell I got some, I like, usually I didn't have like that much white fume um, like on top of my hair. Like sometimes after I take a shower. Um, and I have like a white fume all over my hair. Um, that's from the oil, um, especially like coconut oil, because coconut oil. That's why I stopped putting coconut oil in my hair a long time ago, but it's still in there. And um, it because it changes form. That's another thing. If you have dreads, for me, I suggest that don't do the twist your hair with coconut oil because it changes shape depending on situations you're in so if it can go from hot to cold so it can go from liquid to solid and so I stopped using it and um I just started using oil that don't change but that oil stays in the hair too and it could also ca cause a white fume in your hair of like build up so sometimes I just cut out the oil all together and even soap like sometimes I just wash my hair with just water I like the little mix I made. So I don't know, I might put this in my routine because I, I wash my hair like twice a month. Um, sometimes, actually, lately it's been more. Like, I've probably washed my hair like three times in the last two weeks because I'm trying to get the oil out of my hair and the, the build up. And it's, it's working too. So, by putting less oil in there and sticking away from the oils that solidify in different temperatures. And um, maybe using just a little olive oil diluted, but lately I haven't. I have my spray right here that I made. 
has all kind of goodies in it that um that I'm gonna use to moisturize and twist my hair with. Um, and I, I'm not gonna use any any oil. I'm just gonna twist it with that. I have like a little oil in here. I think a little lavender and um, have a little lavender and a little um, uh, vitamin E oil. It's a little, and most of it is like rose water, some water I had sit out um in the sun so it got some moonlight i mean some sunlight i'm thinking about the full moon so i got some full sun and i also use some of these hearthstone flowers um it smells really really good it has a very earthy smell and i also have peppermint in there too a little peppermint oil yeah that's what i do have with the peppermint oil is very refreshing and so yeah I got some other stuff. I'm gonna list that out. I'm gonna do a blog on this and I'm gonna say hello. Okay. So my hair is definitely attracting the love bug. I must smell. I must smell good. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna drench my hair with both of these. And then I'm gonna just sit outside in the sun. Or I might put this in the refrigerator and like maybe uh do my son's hair. Or I might find another use for it. I don't know. We're going to see how my hair feels after I use this first one. So, I'll be back. Back. Okay. Now, sun's beaming. Now my hair is dry. But this is, um, I let the tonic sit for over 10 minutes, apparently. It's about 30 minutes in the sun. I had to go oil you up. I had to put on shea butter. My armor. My, uh, protection. <laughs> the sun is awesome. But it also can dry out your skin. <clears throat> and I find that and it can um when you're sunbathing, um, to get an even tan. Yes. That's brown skin. Beautiful brown rooted women. We like to tan too. We like to sunbathe too. And yes, we can take all of the vitamin D in, but it's so nice to have some some uh, moisturizer on to help absorb it in an even fashion. Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use my spray and I'm gonna spray spray from my shake it, shake it up. And then I'm gonna spray drench my hair with it because it needs it apparently. It's even dry. The tips are still wet for sure. But the um the top is still <coughs> the sun being now on my hair, causing this, causing this halo effect. Beautiful. So I'm not gonna use any oil to twist my hair. I really don't have a special way to twist my hair. This one is nice and moisturizing. That's really the key is with moisture. You know, I don't really do too many parts. If my husband was uh, here helping me, he would be helping me in part because he does help me. That's the one thing I love so much about my husband is because he really cares about my hair and my, you know, he loves to help me do my hair. I love it. Take my toes. He takes care of me. Yes, he really does. On a mental, spiritual, emotional, and physical level, I love it. And he's not afraid to get in there and help me with something. <coughs> Dealing with my hair, my beauty. So yeah, I just sweet like to say. I used to put clips on. Now I really don't put clips or anything. I just, I really want curls. And I just don't feel like doing curls. You can see so bright. <clears throat> and I could have had, I, if I wasn't thinking, I could have had one of them, several. One of my goddess friends to twist my hair. I just really on um, whim decided like, oh, I'm here. 
for going to a wedding today. You probably should maybe try to look a little more polished. <laughs> sometimes I like being my woman, but sometimes I like being a man here. <laughs> so this is a lot of like new girls right there. That's not my hair breaking off. This is new girls from when um <coughs> my son and when you're pregnant, you, you get all this beautiful hair, and then Mother Nature takes it all back <laughs> once you have the baby, and so then you start losing all your edges. And so what I find now, though, now that I'm post-pregnancy by, what, two years? Now my hair is going back fuller, actually, than it was before in places. So, pregnancy, like, you have that short term effect, well, I had that short term effect of gaining all this hair and I was pregnant, then losing a lot of hair, and then now I'm gaining a lot of hair back. So, I think I guess my hormones have balanced out now. It's like, okay, no more baby, especially after I start breastfeeding. So, with this, I try to twist it with things, uh, like, I'll double this up. I'm like, twist it to keep it together because you just twisting it until it gets until it gets fine. Right, I don't twist my hair enough. That's another thing. I don't twist my hair enough for the new growth. When you have the new growth, it's really best to like keep your hair twisted so it can um, but I don't really mind the new growth, especially when I'm on the new owl woman phase. <laughs> it uh it adds to the character of the TV. Then I can brush it into a ponytail and stuff. I don't, I don't mind it. I, don't mind. I like the little curly fuzz right there. I like it. I, I feel like I like my hair being unique. Like having it not looking like so manicured all the time, even when it is manicured. And it's a little mess here. I'm just spraying. Oh, huh? had a bird come on. I'm just spraying. And I'm just keep my hair moisturized. And I'm going to twist all this up. And then I'll come back and then show you in the results. And see this transformation. What else we'll do? Do I do the toes? And then I'm going to um, get my kids ready so they can go. What? Okay, I'll come and give you a cookie, Adrian. They've been eating cookies, so. <laughs> so, I was thinking about something earlier. There was some thoughts I was having. It was really deep. It was bigger now. And I wish I, and I was like, oh, this would be really good to share on humor. And so, really. Thoughts. I can't even remember what it was. It does that sometimes. I, my mind, I have these thoughts like, oh, that's really good. They're gone. It doesn't look, I guess it doesn't look as twisted as me, but it's going to in a second. I'm mostly twisted separation. When it's all done, it'll be, it'll be beautiful. I got a sticky note. Okay, see, so we got twisted. And 